But, you know, I still went out to eat. I had great food. I went out, you know, drinking, went out, you know, with my friends almost every weekend, if not every weekend, sometimes a couple nights a week. You know, so I still kept a pretty good lifestyle. It's just that I was tracking every single calorie, tracking every single carb and piece of protein or gram of protein. I was working out a little bit more consistently. I was making sure I was getting my steps in, uh, being a little extra active. And that's honestly, that's all it took, guys. That, that's all it took to lose these 10, 11 pounds over the last 44 days. Hey guys, welcome to day 44 out of 44. That's right, this is the last day of the 44-day challenge, which means you get to see the results. I am personally really, really happy with the results. I'm really stoked about what happened. I didn't get totally shredded. I didn't get like anywhere near competition ready or stage ready or photo shoot ready. That wasn't the point of this. The point of this was just to drop 10 pounds. I actually ended up dropping 11. Uh, but the point was to drop 10 pounds just to look a little bit better on the beach, feel a little bit better. And also just have a little bit more kind of leeway to eat whatever the heck I want on vacation. Which means, you know, you actually get to enjoy your vacation and not feel guilty in any way, shape, or form. So that was the point, and I think mission accomplished. So before I show you the final physique video, I want to kind of talk about what I learned over these 44 days. Of course, I did not make a video every single day, especially towards the end. I got kind of tired of saying the same thing. You know, here's my food, here's my weight, here's what I struggled with, here's what I did well. You know, it is what it is. Um, I did continue to track every single day. I just didn't make videos kind of towards the end. But here's what I learned. Number one, the first thing that I noticed these last few days of uh, doing this challenge is my addiction to food, my cravings for food, especially when I get mad, when I get angry, when I get sad, whatever it may be, isn't completely broken, but it's definitely much diminished compared to what it was. So like last Wednesday, I had kind of a day at work. It was really stressful. Yeah, I made myself feel better by getting some Chinese food and, you know, an ice cream sandwich. Whatever. Not a huge deal, right? But the point is, like, in the evening, for instance, I'm more than happy to just eat a salad, have some berries and yogurt. I'm totally looking forward to these very low-calorie, high-protein, satiating, but much more healthy meals. I'm no longer craving. Like, I'm not stopping at Wegmans at night trying to get Halo Top ice cream or something crappy. I mean, Halo Top's the ice cream you want if you really love ice cream. It's the healthiest. But still... You know, I'm just, I'm not craving it as much anymore. I'm just craving my nice bowl of, you know, berries and yogurt with some stevia in there. I'm just as happy to have that as a pint of Halo Top ice cream or, you know, sushi or whatever other treat that I used to get. So I think that was probably the most powerful thing is breaking that food addiction. And I know how fast it can come back. As soon as you stop tracking calories, you stop tracking meals, you stop thinking about this every single day, that comes back like that. For those of us who are addicted to food, who have been addicted to food, it's a real, it's like a lifelong struggle. It's a lifelong fight that you just will be continually fighting. And I, I mean, I personally don't feel like fighting it every day of my life. But when I do realize I've done some damage, I've gained 10 pounds, I've gained 20, 30 pounds, whatever it may be, I think, all right, it's time for a reset. Let's diet pretty significantly for like a month, month and a half, like this time, you know, maybe a couple months. And then you basically reset and you're healthier. So over time, I feel like eventually that'll completely break my addiction to food. But even though it's not completely broken, I still am using food as a comfort mechanism. Towards the end of these 44 days, it's not even close to as much as it was before. So I'm really stoked about that. Another thing, the other part of this was posting a video every day, or in my case, almost every day. Uh, and what I've noticed is I'm getting much better, much more confident, and much more capable at just making a video without, you know, scripting it and just reading off a sheet or an iPad or, you know, just saying, um, uh, all the time and having to edit out, you know, pauses, lapses of thought where I can't just like get my thoughts together and just spit them out at the camera. You know, I'm getting much better at recording in real time like I am right now. I'm not planning on editing this video almost at all, unless I same thing... <laughs> Like, yeah, just that, like just right now. Exactly. I just totally just spoke gibberish, whatever that happens in real conversations that happens in everyday life that happens. So why would I erase it out of my videos? If it's just completely just gibberish and not understandable, like whatever, I get it. I should probably edit that out, but I'm getting after posting almost 40 videos in a row, I'm getting much better at just talking off the cuff at just getting my thoughts together in rapid succession and speaking clearly confidently and succinctly and just getting my thoughts out from my head and into the microphone and into the camera and into your ears. So doing that for 40 days, almost 40 days in a row, I think has actually been the biggest gift 
maybe after breaking my addiction to food, I'd say that that was probably the second biggest gift of this whole challenge is just getting much better at recording content and just feeling good about it, not having to edit it for an hour, for two hours, not having to like script it and think about it for freaking ever. It's just like, I know what I want to say. You need to think about it for like a minute, two minutes, and then just, that's it. Boom. Just get it out there. That makes things much faster, much better, much more natural. I feel like to listen to and to, uh, to consume the content. And it's just making me feel much better about posting consistently because now it doesn't take as much effort, as much time, and as much struggle to get that content out there. So that was the second giant gift of this 44-day uh, challenge. The third giant gift of this 44-day challenge is I posted some shorts. Just out of nowhere, I just kind of decided, all right, like this small section of the video about, you know, the weight loss, the journey, whatever, uh, would look good as a short, a little 15, 20, 30-second clip. And some of those really caught fire. I mean, some of them got like a thousand views in a few minutes. You know, I mean, that was pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to incorporate that more into my YouTube channel, into my Instagram content, all that good stuff. So I'm definitely looking forward to having a bigger presence and doing this more and more consistently because I really do want to get my voice about health, about weight loss, all that stuff out there. I am a professional after all. I help people lose weight professionally medically not just like as a freaking guru not as a personal trainer nothing against those folks not as a chiropractor whatever i'm a legitimate licensed medical provider helping people lose weight safely and effectively so i feel like what i have to say is important especially since i practice it myself i practice what i preach and you know it's just it's incredibly gratifying to see progress not only in myself but things that i've learned by doing it myself seeing that progress with my patients and being able to help them that is uh, absolutely fantastic and actually, that's one thing that I really wanted to also talk about is before I started doing this challenge, I was, you know, I wasn't too overweight. I was close to 200 pounds again. I gained, you know, like 30 pounds back after losing 50 last year, which, you know, I still looked okay. I was still fine, but just like it wasn't great. And I wasn't actively losing weight. And so I noticed that with my weight loss patients and with the obesity medicine, uh, medicine practice, I, I mean, I was still passionate about it. I know that it's a very powerful thing to practice and an important thing to do, but I just felt myself getting lax, not getting as passionate about talking to my patients, helping my patients. But while I was doing this challenge, while I was in the same struggle, in the same fight that my weight loss patients are in, I noticed that I was so much more passionate, so much more engaged, so much more ready to just say like, oh yeah, have you tried this? You know, this works for me. It's working for me right now. Instead of just saying like, oh yeah, well, have you tried, you know, cutting your portions and kind of going low carb and taking your fentramine? Like I, I was just way more involved and engaged in the process because I was doing it myself. So sometimes, especially as a weight loss professional or any medical professional, let's be real, it's really good to practice what you preach, you know? So as a weight loss professional, having gone through another little mini weight loss journey, even though it's 10 pounds and just like a month and a half, I feel like it makes me a better provider makes me grounded and makes me more relatable to my weight loss patients. You know, I could tell them, hey, by the way, I'm losing weight right now too. You know, so that was definitely another big gift that came out of this whole thing. So I'm very grateful that that happened. Okay, here we go. Without further ado. So if you watched my very first video and somewhere along the lines of like day 20, 21, I posted another one of this. Here is what I look like when I started this challenge. This was 44 days ago. I weighed 197.6 pounds. All right. So here's what it looks like. Now, same gym, similar conditions, similar lighting, not the exact same, but pretty close. Here is what I looked like this morning. Down about 11 pounds, 10 and a half pounds. I look way leaner. I look way just better in every way, shape, and form. The muscles don't look smaller, but the waist looks a whole lot smaller. So I'm very happy about that. I'm nowhere near, you know, stage ready. I'm nowhere near like competition ready for like a bodybuilding or a physique competition. Nowhere near ready for a photo shoot or anything like that. But definitely, you know, 10 and a half, 11 pounds over the course of 44 days while still keeping a pretty happy lifestyle. You know, I still went out to eat. I had great food. I went out, you know, drinking, went out, you know, with my friends almost every weekend, if not every weekend, sometimes a couple nights a week. You know, so I still kept a pretty good lifestyle. It's just that I was tracking every single calorie, tracking every single carb and piece of protein or gram of protein. I was working out a little bit more consistently. I was making sure I was getting my steps in, uh, being a little extra active. And that's honestly, that's all it took, guys. That, that's all it took to lose these 10, 11 pounds over the last 44 days. Now, had I buckled down and gone totally crazy and like really, really made sure I was in a deficit every single day, 
didn't touch any alcohol, didn't touch any sugar, didn't touch any carbs, was just super dialed in, I probably would have dropped 20 pounds and probably would have had a super shredded six pack with like visible obliques and everything by now, which I mean, cool if that's what you want to do, but you know, that's not worth it to me. Not right now. If I'm going for like a competition sometime down the line, maybe in a year or two, I'm thinking about getting on stage. Okay. Yeah. Then you got to get dialed in and realize like, this is a big goal. This is a big thing you're trying to do, you know, get dialed in and just freaking do it. But this was not that. I just wanted to drop a little bit of weight uh, for vacation, see that I could do it, and also just do this challenge, which, like I just said, is uh, good in so many different ways. So the 44-day challenge is over. I am going to Israel tomorrow early, early, early in the morning, 5 a.m., waking up, getting to the airport by like 6. So yeah, uh, definitely not going to be posting for at least the next couple weeks. I'm sure I'll have plenty to talk about and plenty to share when I come back. But as of right now... You know, going to be kind of radio silent on uh, on YouTube and probably even on Instagram for the next couple weeks because I'll be traveling. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Whoever's out there watching my videos, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you when I get back.